Hey guys, Steph here. This is a video response for Sybil for the dye storage. Um, <clears throat> I haven't made a video in a couple days and I'm way behind. Ava's been homesick with a really bad cold and she's going back to school tomorrow. Oh yes, yeah, she is. She's feeling better um, and going a little stir crazy. So if you hear craziness, that's what it is. But so you know, um, I'm also going to show you some of the dye storage I brought out and then bring you on a little field trip to the other room to show you some. Some of this is very temporary. As you'll see, I'm in the transition of switching over my dye storage. So I'll explain it a bit. So first, for my clear stamps that have dyes that coordinate like these, they're in the Avriel pockets labeled. And then on the back is a thin piece of magnetic uh, strip with the dies on it and I'll show you where these are stored at the moment when we go on our field trip to the other room. So those are the big ones and then the little ones are the same unless they are paper tray ink. The small paper tray ink stamps and dies that coordinate are in here. So like this one for example, this is the packaging that they're in. I have not changed changed over any of my paper tray ink yet. I want to put these in the small pockets and the bigger ones in the big pockets so that everything's going to be in Avriel pockets. Every thin metal die, every stamp set will eventually be in the Avery pockets. It's just time consuming. So right now I just tuck the die right in the back there and most of these stamp sets, this one has a big long die so that's not in there. But most of these have little dies that coordinate and they're just tucked in the back so they don't get lost. So that's that one. And then for my, <clears throat> this in here is where they're being transitioned from. I had a bunch of small dies in here. These are ones that I haven't put in anywhere yet. They have to go into pockets. So they're just sitting there. Let me just move them for a minute. And then I have some quick cuts. Um, I have some larger dies in here that need to go into the large pockets, um, like La La Land, CC Designs, and MFT. Aye, aye, aye. Some Alpha dies, some more MFT. See, I don't like this because it's hard for me to get through it. MFT and Simon Says Sam. So these are all larger ones. I think there's one more under there. And then those. So those are all going to go into large pockets. And these are going to go into small pockets. Then these are the ones that have been switched over, but they're not staying in this bin. This is just the bin while I'm doing it. So right now I have them in this bin here. Let me lift you up a little. And I just kind of have a little thing right here just while I'm sorting them. So what I did was I have these smaller pockets. And these are Memorex. They're for CDs. I got them at Office Depot. And these miscellaneous ones that I might only have one or two of um, are together. But I'm doing back-to-back -to, -back to save space and money because two can fit in there. And I can flip through it this way, turn it around, and flip through it the other way. Um... So like the La La Land I did two, oh well not that one, see I'm not done organizing but La La Land and then the other side is also La La Land. So these are all that I've done so far and they all are double sided in there. And then these are all my paper tray ink ones that go with bigger stamps. So these are also double sided. Um, so see this goes with the little Bitty Birds edition stamp set. So I have these all in pockets waiting for me to put them with things. And then I have some regular paper tray ink dies like the envelope and the banners. Um, and then these bigger ones back here have to either be put in a thing behind um, something or see if they'll fit into the pockets. If not, I'll find, I have these other pockets that are longer in a binder that I might put these onto um, um, 
a magnetic strip and put them in there. And then this here is, I actually have it, I've never gotten rid of it. This is actually from Girl Scout cookies one year, and it's a little mailbox. And right now I have all of my dies that come in these pockets like this, like Simon Says Stamp and um, Poppy Stamps and Memory Box dies are all there. And then some of these like Cottage Cuts and a Sizzix. Those are all in here, as well as these are some of my um, embossing folders that I could not fit into my embossing folder um, storage at the moment. So those are those that I'm going to bring you on a little field trip to show you the rest. <clears throat> I'll cover you up so you don't get dizzy. Okay. So first we'll say hi to Ava real quick. Hi Ava. Ooh, sun's shining on you. Are you watching Olivia? Yep. Okay. So, first to show you, um, this right here is just sitting here until I get done with the other room. These are the fridge bins and they hold my clear stamps in the pockets with the um, ones that have coordinating dies. I have three filled and a fourth one um, is going to be bought because I'm not done. I still have tons of stamps to put away. So, yeah, I'm going to end up with probably four or five of these fridge bins, and a D stash is coming. <laughs> and then over here, I have these set at the moment. Down here, I have this. Um, is filled with embossing folders and embossing folders. But over here, okay, so these binders have all of my, um, these two binders have all of my um, spell binders in them which they're going to be switched to the Avery Pockets. So I have two binders full of those, and then I also have some that haven't been put in yet because I'm way behind. And then under here, I have this little guy here, which doesn't want to open for me. Hold on. Okay. And this just has some of my smaller Sizzix dies and Tim Holtz dies and stuff like that in there. And then over here I have all my bigger dies, um, double stacked, and then the really big ones back here. So they're just sitting in that bin until I get the drawer for them finished. So, okay. Go back. So that is pretty much it. Um, the only thing I didn't show you was my little sizzlets, which I only have a handful of. And those I haven't decided what I'm going to do with. They're just sitting in a stack right now. So that's it. Not very helpful, but I will be doing a showing of all the storage when it's all complete. So thanks a bunch. Bye.